Today we're going to deploy a cloud-based virtual call center solution. Uh, this is a project that we began a couple of months ago and it had a uh, fairly heavy uh, emphasis on using Asterisk as a telephony engine uh, for this virtual call center solution. Um, if you don't use Asterisk or you have no plans to use it, uh, you can still use this solution. And In fact, it becomes much simpler to use because we're going to replace the Asterisk component with uh, the option of using the Tropo platform uh, to drive your virtual call center. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a few things. You're going to need to get a Tropo account if you don't have one already, and you're going to need to log in. You're also going to need to go to Phono.com. This is all built around Phono, which is a jQuery plugin for building instant messaging and phone applications inside your web browser. When you go to Phono.com, you're going to need to register for an API key. This will let you create Phono instances for your virtual call center solution. The actual solution itself is on GitHub at GitHub.com slash mhead slash remote agent. Clone this repo and when you do you will have all of the components that you need for your virtual call center solution. Now this is a couch app. Couch apps are HTML5 and JavaScript applications that run inside of CouchDB. They're served directly from CouchDB to a web browser. This is a really good fit for Phono because um, Phono is a web browser based telephone and is messaging client and it also Every Phono instance has a uh, globally unique identifier, which, which matches very, very nicely with CouchDB because documents inside of CouchDB have globally unique document IDs. So go to couchapp.org if you're not familiar with Couch Apps, and you'll find information uh, on what they are, how they work, and also how to install the Couch App utility that we'll be using in this, uh, in this example. So there are two things you'll need to be aware of inside of your um, remote agent solution. First is the Tropo application uh, that will drive this, and it is in a directory called Tropo. And it's a file just called lookup.php. I provided a PHP file to do this. You can very easily replicate what I've done here using Ruby, Python, or Groovy uh, for your, um, your Tropo application. The actual Tropo application itself looks like this. It's very simple. We need to make an HTTP request to a predefined CouchDB view, which is already included in the Couch app that we just cloned from that repo. Uh, and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to get the, when a, when a user calls this Tropo application, we're going to get their caller ID, and we're going to look up an agent that is now ready to take a phone call. They've got a Phono instance open in a web browser in front of them, and they're ready to talk to one of your customers. We're going to send that agent an instant message using the Jabber protocol and we're going to send it to the exact same Phono instance that they are going to get the phone call on. And we're going to tell them, hey, you're getting an incoming call, and we're going to show the caller ID to them of the person calling. We're going to tell our customer that's calling to hold on while we transfer their call, and then we're going to do a simple SIP transfer to our Phono instance. Because Tropo is fully SIP interoperable, and since we can make SIP phone calls to Phono instances, the transfer is as simple as one line of code. So you're going to need to go to Tropo, and you're going to need to actually set up a, a new Tropo application. I've shown you a quick example here. You can host this in uh, our hosting environment, and this PHP file will run inside of the Tropo cloud. I've gone ahead and I've, I've added a couple of um, New York-based phone numbers to the collection that I've been given for free by Tropo, the Skype number and the SIP phone number. Uh, and the iNum phone number that I've, that I've automatically provisioned by Tropo. So once you've got this all set up, this is what your customer is going to actually call. They can call one of these numbers, and you can also add new numbers if you want to. I'll show you how to uh, send a call to an agent via Skype and SIP as well. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need a, a, a CouchDB instance. I recommend uh, Iris Couch because it's fast, simple, and easy. And if you go there, you'll get a free instance for, for your use. Uh, you're going to need to make sure that your, uh, your Tropo application knows where this um, knows where your CouchDB instance lives. And that's pretty much it. So there's another component that you need to be aware of, and it is uh, inside of the directory called underscore attachments. And it's this file called index.html. This is the actual instance. This is the Phono page that will be served from CouchDB for your agents, for your remote call center agents. Oops, let's take a look at what that looks like. If you open this file up and you look at it, you'll see it's very simple, basic HTML and jQuery. All of the magic comes from Phono, which lets us basically render a phone and an instant messaging client 
inside this web browser for the caller to use. All of this is standard HTML, jQuery, and CSS. That's it. Uh, I'm going to show you how this works in just a minute. But the one thing you'll need to do is in this file, you'll see um, that you need to set your API key, the one that we just got from Phono. Make sure you, um, after you register for an API key, you're going to need to put that key in here. Once you've done all that, we're now ready to deploy our application to our remote CouchDB instance, the one that we just got from Iris Couch. If you've got your Couch app uh, utility installed, you're going to tell it that you want to push the current directory, and you can see I'm currently in my remote agent directory, and then I'm going to tell it what CouchDB instance I want to push to. I've already pushed this to one of my remote instances, so I'm just going to kind of simulate this for you uh, and kind of show you what you would need to do in order to push this to your instance. Once you do this, CouchDB or the uh, Couch app will tell you that it has successfully pushed it. And if you go to your CouchDB instance, what you'll see is something that looks like this. You'll have a CouchDB instance with one document in it, and it is a design document that houses all of the bits for our Couch app. Here is the index.html file that we just looked at. And you will notice when I open this into a new tab, my Phono instance will render and it will now register with the Voxio SIP network. So now I have a live telephone that is waiting to take a phone call. And you can see I've added a little bit up here to display the, um, the screen pop that we're going to show our agent. And I just want to show you this really quickly. If you go back to our remote agent database now, you'll see that there's a new document a new CouchDB document inside of this. And the document ID, this is our phono identifier. It, it looks uh, suspiciously like a SIP address, and that's because it is a SIP address. We're going to use this to actually send information to our phono instance. Uh, if you remember back in our uh, Tropo script, we're going to make a very simple HTTP request to CouchDB, and we're going to get back this identifier. Uh, it's based on this state of ready. I have a um, phono instance that's ready to take a phone call. Now when our agent answers the phone, we're going to need to change this state and, and, and make sure that we don't send more than one call to a, an agent at a time. So let's do this. I've got a phono instance that is ready to take a phone call. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually use the uh, SIP uh, phone number that's been provisioned for me. And I'm actually going to call this phono instance. Please hold while your call is transferred. You can see there's my caller ID in this SIP clamp. And now my phone rings. Let me answer the phone. Hello? 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 hello. hello. So this is a this customer is a customer talking to your talking agent. To your agent. The agent is, the agent is uh, uh, in their home. In their home. They are in some remote, in location. Some remote location. All they need is, All a, they web need is a web browser, browser to talk to your to customer. To your customer. Once I've hung the phone up, uh, you can see my, my display goes back to uh, what it was prior to the, to the customer call. So let's do this now. Let's actually call this uh, from a PSTN number. You can see my Tropo application has a couple of real-world telephone numbers. Let's call this from an actual landline telephone. I will mute this so that we don't get that strange echo. Uh, and as you'll see, there's my your call is transferred. my agent gets a screen pop. My agent gets a screen. My pop. agent gets a screen pop. Whoops. Uh, the the joy of testing <laughs> with multiple phones. So my agent gets a screen pop while my Tropo app tells the caller, "Please hold on while your call is transferred," and then my agent can answer the phone. I could very easily just have done something like a, uh, a, a CRM dip here. I could have looked up information about this caller and told the agent uh, in this screen pop window, um, hey, this was the, your customer's last transaction. Uh, this is a, a, a very important a VIP customer. Whatever information you needed to provide to this agent so that they could service this call appropriately, you can do all of that. Uh, and it's really just as simple as a you know less than 50 line uh, line of code PHP file that's running in the Trobo Cloud. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, 
All of this is built around the power of Phono in our jQuery library that lets you build uh, powerful multi-channel communication apps right inside your web browser.